In this video, we'll be covering what a BATNA is, why expert negotiators swear by them, and how you can find yours. To begin with, anytime you're negotiating, you have the choice of whether or not to accept the offer that's been made to you. If you don't accept it, you have a choice of alternatives. Let's take an example of a car dealership. You go in because you got a new job and you need something to help you commute to work. You have the choice of buying a car from that dealership that day, or you go to a different car dealership, or you buy a bike and you use that to commute to work, or you carpool with a friend if that's an option. All of those are your set of alternatives. Out of all of your alternatives, there's one that you prefer to everything else. That's your BATNA. It is the best alternative to negotiated agreement. Expert negotiators love this concept. 99% of the time, an expert negotiator knows what they're gonna do if the negotiation falls through. They have a B plan in mind. For these purposes, think of your BATNA as your B plan. What are you gonna do if you can't make a deal today? The first lesson is you always have a BATNA. Let's take the car dealership example for a second. If they offer you a really bad deal, you still have the option to go to another car dealership. And if that falls through, you have the option to take a bus, to ride a bike, to carpool. Lesson number two, if you've thought about your BATNA really hard and you've come up with something that you don't really like, don't give up, keep negotiating. We're gonna do another video on improving your BATNA, so stay tuned for that. If your BATNA is not something that you prefer, that's important knowledge for you to have, and you'll be able to proceed with that in mind. Remembering that you always have a BATNA helps you put skewed offers or absurdly low or high offers into the proper context. You're the only one who's gonna know how much the car is worth to you. You know how much extra you're willing to pay on the car if you know how much longer your commute time is gonna be on the bus. Knowing your alternatives, and in particular your BATNA, is absolutely critical in negotiation. There's a reason that big time negotiators love this concept and you can use it in your everyday. Know your plan B. It also lets you know what offers just aren't worth accepting. It lets you know at what point you should just walk away from the table. It will also give you the confidence to pay and get paid what the goods and services are really worth. Great negotiators and good mediators know there are times when no deal is better than a bad deal. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. And for more real-world negotiation principles, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We'll see you next time.